here. Why you wanna let me go? Na na now. Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know. Na na now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. I can't believe we are here in Puerto Rico. I'm here with my bestie girls walking to the beach. She's so funny. We are now heading out to Old San Juan and we're going over to like the historical sites first and then we're gonna kind of walk into the city park, go to dinner, go to the bars. And we all got cute and dressed and I'm so excited. Yay. How is everyone feeling? Excited. excited. <laughs> How was we're the beach? We're in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Look at Jada. You look cute. Amazing. Look at Delane. Then we got Delane. JP in the back. No, Delaney's right, right there. Me right here. I had natural blush today. I didn't have to put any on. Yeah. Got to save some product. <laughs> It is such a beautiful day today and we are starting off picking up our rental car. So we chose to get a car just for one day of the trip and we plan to go to the, I think it's the west side of the island and kind of check out those beaches where it's a little bit less touristy. The beach we were at yesterday was very gorgeous as well but it was definitely more of like a touristy area so I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the island. Also, I have to say, last night was very fun. It was different than what I was expecting because you always hear like Puerto Rico nightlife is so fun and like all this stuff about it. And it definitely was fun, but it was different vibes than I was expecting. There was one bar, it was called La Factoria, and also don't rank on me for my accent. I'm not that good at it, okay? Everyone was telling us to go to it, so we go in and they're like 23 plus. We're not 23, so we weren't able to get in, but then all the other bars kind of had just no age limit, so there were super young people and then like super old people, but no one kind of in this. 20 year old, 21, 22 age range. So it was just a different vibe than what we were expecting. But nonetheless, it was really fun. And of course, being with each other was really fun. But I'm excited to see where today takes us. Having a car just like opens up the reins for endless possibilities. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having the windows down, cruising with the music playing, and just like overall being so excited. So let's get on with today. Yay. We have JP behind the wheel. <laughs> Delaney managing the music in the front. And then we have Jada and I in the back. Come out and play. It's Saturday. And I promise I'll love you much better now. The sour taste will wash away. Cause I promise you, promise I'm better now. Yesterday was so beautiful. I'm so glad we went and got that rental car because as you saw, beautiful views. We got to the most beautiful beach and then we went to a really pretty dinner. We were so exhausted, sun tired, hungry, hangry, all of the above by the time we had gotten to the restaurant. So I just couldn't even bear to bring out the camera, but I did get some clips on my phone.
So as you can see, it was really beautiful. I loved it. Our next adventure for today is a excursion. So we're going to the rainforest. I do not want to butcher the name, so I'll just have it up on the screen. I'm also not going to be bringing my camera because it's very watery and I just don't want to risk messing this up, but I'm sure it's going to be just as beautiful on my phone as it would have been on the camera. So we're going to go ahead to that. It's going to be seven hours long. So I'm curious to see how it all goes. And yeah, I'm so excited. Every single day, I just keep saying I'm so excited, but I really am looking forward to seeing all the beautiful things that this beautiful island has. How are we feeling, Delane? I'm ready. I'm a Pepsi. I'm excited. very excited. Yay! I am so happy. I am so sad. It's done. All done. Time flies, I know that's for sure. Yeah. It was beautiful and they dropped us off at a beautiful beach again I'm not gonna butcher the name so I'll have it on the screen but they left us here and we had the option to go back on the bus but I think we're gonna stay because oh my god and we're here at this restaurant La Parilla La Paria La Paria yeah there we go and I'll let you know if it's good but this is absolutely beautiful yeah it was a lot of fun it was a lot more intense than I thought it was gonna be right we got so dirty yeah we did like I showed them my shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, it's bad. Like, well, these were white. Yeah. You liked it, Jada? I loved it. It was such an experience. And you enjoyed it, Jada? Yeah, it's fun. And now we're here. This is insane. It's our last day here, our last full day. So we still have tomorrow. I don't think our flight is till like 6.30, so we have a good bit of time tomorrow too, but this is the last full day. And we all agreed yesterday was our favorite day of the entire trip. And I'm so glad I didn't bring the camera because one, I definitely would have dropped it. It was so freaking muddy. My sneakers are absolutely destroyed. Hopefully the montage gave you a full entire view of what we were doing, but I will definitely link the tour down below because it was so fun. Doesn't everyone agree? Yes, yes. so much fun. <laughs> every, every video. <laughs> also, it's just delicious. Delaney and JD here. JP is in the room getting ready and we're just grabbing some breakfast over at a place near our hotel. We made it to horseback riding. We are at Karabali Park, something like that. I will have it on the screen, of course. I will 100% let you know if this is worth it. It was not that expensive. It was only like $45 for an hour of horseback riding through the rainforest. And then we just had to pay for the Uber here. And then we had to sign like a release form, of course. But other than that, this was super easy to get to. So I'll let you know if we enjoy it and I will have it linked below. In addition to the horseback riding, they have so much other things here like go-karting and ATVs, UTVs, all that. So I'll let you know, but I'm really looking forward to this. And cue the horseback riding montage. that we ended up doing this. What did everyone think? It's a thumbs up for me. That was a lot of fun. Just something to know before you do it. You're gonna be so sore afterwards. I got off that horse limping. Same. <laughs> yeah. 
I thought it was really fun. It, the scenery is absolutely beautiful. The horses are amazing. It was just an amazing time. And she's an animal girl, so I, I, I know you girl, love that. So, yes, I do. And, and you? I'm, I'm a cowgirl, so it was just like. No, yeah. I was like, Delaney, time. you feel like you're at home in Texas? Yeah, I was back in Texas <laughs> with uh, the horses. And what did you think, JD? It was so much fun. I loved it. I'm glad it was an hour long. It was the perfect amount of time. It's beautiful scenery. I liked it. Isla Verde Beach and it's absolutely gorgeous here. I've been saying that this entire time, but I promise you, Puerto Rico is so beautiful. I had no clue it was this gorgeous, but I feel like every inch of this island that we go to, I just keep getting blown away. So here we are, Isla Verde Beach. It's the things that you do. Beautiful day on the beach, just as always. I have lost my voice. Too busy yelling Big Daddy at the humongous waves. Last night in Puerto Rico, we are heading out to La Placita, and apparently it is like super fun, super amazing. We've heard to go literally from like 10 different people, so we are making our way there now. Let's do this. Yay! We got JD doing JP's makeup. We got Delaney running through her bag. Found my lip gloss, I couldn't find it. Yay! Yay! And uh yeah. Here we go guys. Last night. Last night in San Juan. Let's make it one to remember. I wish someone had told me these would be the good old days. Me and Delaney on our own vibe and then they're <laughs> No, literally. We're matching. Yeah, we are matching. We're matching but not matching. Same, same but different. And now I'm here, back in my Washington DC apartment. First things first, I did not show half of what we did that last night. And I can't even say I'm sorry because I simply was just having too good of a time to pull up my phone and start recording things. Like all of us are just living in the moment, but I have to say La Placita. If you know, you know. If you've been there before, you understand the hype of it. It was just like a different partying experience than we've ever had before, none of us. There was just like clubs and clubs and clubs and just lines and so many people and everyone was just trying to have a good time so long story short i had an amazing time that night and i cannot even go into depth about everything that happened because uh my friends and i decided we will not speak of it again that is how wild we were what happens at la placita stays at la placita but just know amazing time and before i end off the video i just wanted to give one last overview of this entire trip because i absolutely had an amazing time i'm so incredibly thankful that my friends and i were able to pull off this trip that we were able to go i think all of us got so much closer on this trip not just to each other but also to ourselves and i just know each and every one of us like got something so different out of the trip but also the same thing which was just having fun being young girls and by the end of the trip i was like you know what guys like we are young we're in our 20s we're all cute we're all funny we're all Smart. like we deserve to have amazing experiences like this and not just be so worried about all the stresses of school and life and what comes after college you know so I was just so glad that all of us could forget it for a couple days and just enjoy each other and each other's company and I just I had an amazing time if you can't tell also I have to give major props to Puerto Rico for how safe I felt it is so rare to travel as a woman and not feel cautious feel like maybe you're doing something wrong feel like you're sticking out you know thinking oh no do I look like a tourist am I a target right now you know I feel like you don't go anywhere without thinking those things but after like day two in Puerto Rico and I really got comfortable and felt safe all of those fears kind of washed away of course we were all still being super aware and I still had my guard up and you know we weren't being crazy and trying to draw too much attention to ourselves at any moment but just overall I never felt uncomfortable I never felt like oh this is spooky you know there were never like creepy men trying to holler at us which I feel like happens a lot which is like a main source at least for me of me feeling like anxious when I go out and stuff is just like being cat called you know things are scary out there you know but 
I did not feel one ounce of any of that while we were in Puerto Rico. So that's why I say maybe I'll go back on a solo trip. I 100% could see myself traveling there and feeling comfortable. Even with the Ubers, I really appreciated how nice everyone was. I also am definitely going to have everything linked down below. So I'll have our Airbnb linked down below. I will have the excursions we took down below. And if there's any more information that you want to know, just comment it. Feel free to ask. I'm down for it. I hope you enjoyed. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. So it's never too long before there's a new upload for me also if you don't know i have a lot of travels coming up to be exact one trip per month for the rest of the year so there's going to be so many travel videos coming up in the next few months and just the fun never ends over here on my youtube channel so if you've liked this make sure you subscribe like follow me on instagram do you know all the little things you're supposed to do when you like someone's content <laughs> but that's where i end this so i'll see you in my next video bye